The next two parameters we have are the parameters for connector size and connector grown. Connector size parameter is simply the length of the allowance itself. If we set it to one inch, you can actually see in the preview that Practical add a one inch allowance to demonstrate the allowance we're currently in the appearance slip and drive. If we were to set the connector size to two, that would mean that the connector size would be two inches. Now the connector size parameter is actually being imported from Practicam if you imported it. However, you can design any connector you want here. To demonstrate that, we're going to show you the connector size parameter inside Practicam. Over here in Practicam, we are looking at a slip and drive connection. And you could see by taking a look at the way this connection is built that the connection is actually one inch long. However, you can see here that we also have another parameter called add and it is set to be a half an inch. The add parameter is actually in Practicam the notchback. What that would mean is that if we've got a one inch connection and we say to add or notch back the connection by a half an inch, it would mean that we're leaving a half an inch of length of material at the end of the fitting for the connector. Therefore, we would lose a half an inch of material. You could see here by your preview, if we set this to zero, and click on our preview and practicam that the connection gets longer because now it's a one inch connector as it's represented here. However, when we go to add and put a half inch, practicam will actually notch it into the fitting a half an inch, which means we're going to lose a half inch of material on each side. For example, with slip and drive, if it's a finished length five foot piece of duct or 60 inches, if we lose a half an inch on each side, the finished length for a slip and drive duct off the coil should be 59 inches. The parameter add in Practicam is actually the parameter connector grown in Practicad. So coming back to Practicad, you can see here if we wanted to make a slip and drive just like we had it in our shop software, we'd make the connector grown a half an inch. Basically, if you take the connector size and you subtract the value of connector grown, whatever that value is, is the length of material you're going to lose on each end of the fitting. So in this particular case, we have a one inch connector. We subtract the half an inch connector grown or notch back, which leaves a half an inch. And that means we lose a half an inch on each side of the fitting. So a 60 inch fitting would now be 59 inches.